Tonight at 7, New Mexico is once again in the national spotlight. The Bachelor continues in Santa Fe. But not everyone is happy about the way our state was portrayed last Monday. Action 7 News reporter Laura Terrain shows us why. Last week on The Bachelor, viewers nationwide got to see why we love New Mexico. The Bachelorettes oohed and awed over our mountainous landscape. I can't wait to do this. <laughs> One lucky girl went ballooning near Taos, and a group date included rafting on the Rio Grande. But as much as New Mexico looked good, the episode angered some viewers. That's because at least one bachelorette did not realize New Mexico is part of the U.S. I hear it's beautiful. It's like a beach resort place. So excited. I've never been out of the country. It's going to be awesome. I think it speaks to a little bit of New Mexico's chip on its shoulder. You know, we feel like we're the underdog state in some ways. David Herndon is editor in chief of New Mexico Magazine. Every issue, they print an article with stories about our state's mistaken identity. It's called One of Our 50 is Missing. The author in this issue said one person asked her, You need a passport to get there, don't you? While another person brought water bottles to a home in Rio Rancho because. You can't drink the water here. We all have a good, good laugh about it. Back to The Bachelor, there were plenty of people laughing when Bachelorette Megan donned a sombrero as the credits rolled and tried to wrap her head around the name of our state. I never figured out why they call it New Mexico instead of Old Mexico. I think there already is a Mexico. Let's see what else she has to say when The Bachelor continues tonight in Santa Fe. Laura Terrain, KOAT Action 7 News. I have a feeling that it's going to be a repeat of a lot of that from yeah. last week. I don't think all of a sudden she's going to become, you know, it's one bachelor smarter on these things. Yeah, one. Yes. <laughs> one, yeah. Yes. And it's she unfortunate said, because it reflects on all of them. Beach community. She said about the Rio Grande that had alligators and dead bodies in it. I mean, mm -hmm. she was, yeah. And Joe asked the best question of all during that story. He just did. He just asked What does she do for a living? What does she do for a living? We're going to find out, Joe. I'm going to Google that and tell you whether. I think he was kind of insinuating what could she possibly do? <laughs> exactly. <for a> <laughs> That's just what I got. <laughs> right now, you can let us know.